Pang here at School of Walk. I'm here with my good friend Chris Baber. Today it's all about the bow in honour of our Kickstarter campaign. Chasil Bao. Guys, we'll also be doing another recipe with some bao dough. We're going to do a spring onion and chive donut or like bao pancake Sounds good on to Chris's YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Yeah. Um, so you can find Chris on YouTube and Instagram all over the internet. Put the link below. So, so last time we met, yeah. you're at my house, and we did uh, Chasil. One of my favourites. I know, I think he, Chris, I gave him a little pack to take yeah. home, and it, it it was finished by the time he'd reached the front door. Yeah, so, yeah. It was actually, yeah. <laughs> I've been like craving this again from you. Like, I've had it out and about, but obviously <laughs> your barbecue pork is Whoa. just next level. I mean, it's home cooked, it's got, yeah. got yeah. more yeah. love to it, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 We're going to use it as a base okay. to make up our bow. Yeah. And, and you know that we're doing this Kickstarter campaign. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all around the bow kit. Yeah. Uh, and I we're really excited. went up on stage with you at Taste of London and we did some bow. Yeah, yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. yeah, we did some bow then. So, and at that point, it was all sort of prototype yeah. stage. Now we've got this full on kit and it really works. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to make uh, an actual chassis or bow from scratch. Amazing. Because this is the sort of thing that at home you'd never think you would ever make. Exactly. That's the beauty of the kit. Exactly. The, the actual pork I've roasted already. Yeah. I've done it in the oven this time. We don't have yeah. a barbecue here at the school. When I roasted it in the oven for this, yeah. I covered it with uh, tin foil. Okay. okay. So that I could keep as keep much sauce, sauce as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to thicken that sauce up. Yeah. Um, with a little bit of uh, corn flour paste. Yeah. Uh, so if you pour all that paste. sauce into the wok. Yeah. Um, What's actually in the sauce? Okay, so, so you've got a base of tomato paste, light and dark soy sauce, a little bit of hoisin, ginger and garlic, a little bit of rice wine, uh, some sesame oil. Yeah. Uh, and the black vinegar or some sort of vinegar works with it well yeah. too. You can kind of mix and match a little, so long as it's got a nice sweet, sour, savoury yeah. flavour. I think you can make it to your own taste, kind of. Yeah, well, exactly. Right? And also the dark soy sauce is really important. Okay. Yeah. Thickening this sauce up so that it can sort of stick around yeah. the pork. It's already relatively thick in itself. Oh, it smells so good already. Yeah, it's just pour that. It's about yeah. two to three teaspoons of yeah. corn flour paste in there. Okay, so then bring that to a boil. Yeah. yeah. And then when it's boiling, just in with the barbecue. Then pork. your pork goes straight in. Now soak up all yeah. that flavour. I mean, forget the bar. I can probably just get a spoon and make my way through all of that right now. <laughs> I know what you like. Yeah. But you know, you can see now that sort of thickness of yeah. the corn flour wrapped yeah, it really all the way around. around. Do you want that to be cold before you? Yeah, as, uh, as cold as possible because you don't want that heat to sort of interact with the dough yeah. uh, too yeah, much. Yeah, of course, it's amazing. Okay, so that's the filling for you. Should we just basically cool yeah, that down exactly. and spread let it out? Cool, yeah, exactly. Let that cool. Yeah, let that cool. All right. So we did bow before. Yeah. But they all caught sort of more hirata buns, yeah, the right. sandwich style, well Taiwanese yeah. or Japanese um, breads. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and show you exactly how to sort of roll and fold the traditional dim sum way okay. and try and get you to the ultimate uh, steamed bao uh, in the next like 10 minutes. Sounds, <laughs> sounds achievable. Uh, all right, usually it takes about five days yeah, to get yeah, this yeah. right. But, 10 minutes is good um, for me. All right, so we've got our bao flour mix. Yep. Now, the sort of big difference between, I guess, uh, making it from, from scratch yep. um, uh, and our flour mix is that we've taken it now to about a 10 minute rising time okay. and we're going to put that flour into there yeah. and then we, um, we'll gradually add the warm water so and give that a good, so just knead with the, the, the sort of base of your palm if you can rather than yeah. the fingertips too much. Try and get all that water into the flour. Yeah. What you want to do is you want to pick up all yeah, that flour that from, the, from the base of that bowl yeah. and once you've got all that flour we can start to knead on the surface. A nice yeah. push and roll, push yeah. and roll like any other dough really. Yeah. Um, and what, what you're looking for is a really nice smooth texture on the yeah. bread. Um, so, but you just need to, it's, it's almost like not being scared of the dough. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, push and roll, push and roll. If you do get tired, I'm more than happy to help. Yeah. But I've done about a thousand of these. In the I tell you what, so. talking yeah. to like strong arms and stuff. Yeah. So my first ever job was yeah. in a Chinese restaurant. Oh really? And the chef was incredible. Small guy, but yeah. his forearms from like <laughs> yeah, literally yeah. 40 years of yeah, cooking yeah. on a wok. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Like I yeah. thought I had strong arms. Quite going stocky, to right? Yeah. 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 yeah, but just like a small guy, but honestly, his arms were like, <laughs> I've seen yeah. nothing like it. Dumpling arms? I used to call them that one noodle, noodle right. guns. Okay. Noodle guns, yeah. 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 Once you've got your nice, smooth ball of dough, very easy. 
Uh, then you just cover that. So straight over underneath there. Oh, right, right. Ten minutes. Uh, it, it, weirdly, it won't really look like it's done much. Yeah. Like unlike un un unlike a normal. Gets, like relaxing and. Yeah, it relaxes. Things. It gets a little bit more airy, yeah. and then at that point, when it's nice and relaxed, yeah. we can start to roll, yeah. fold, roll, fold. I'm right-handed, so my right hand's yeah. on the wrong pin. My index finger is turning the wheel. Right. At all times, the dough must sit on the surface of. Uh, right. Okay. Of the table. Once you've got that right. Yeah. Then your right hand needs to be doing something else. Okay. All right, your right hand's going push in, and when you come out, just relax. Push in, push in. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit like the old. Tummy in the head. head. Yeah, yeah, you know the way we do the walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the yeah, way yeah, we yeah. like to walk. Yeah. yeah. All right, so tummy in the head. That's in yeah. all types of Chinese yeah. cooking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you go in, twist, twist. Ah, right, okay. okay. In, yeah, twist, yeah, yeah. twist, 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 now twist, I get it. twist. Okay, and once you've got one round like yeah. that, then you can go further in. Yeah. Right. And obviously, we'll do bigger bow later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this is the sort of movement that you're trying to get to. Okay. Then we can actually practice sort of yeah. putting something in it, okay. right? And if you were to put stuff in it, then there's different ways of doing this. Yeah. Right? The classic way is what we call the crane. Okay, so it's a crane. Yeah. Crane. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like the Karate Kid here. Yeah. Right. It's from the top and it picks up, and imagine there's something in there, right? When you pick up your piece of dough, then we use your index finger to guide towards the other index okay. finger. So, yeah. so if I push towards, you can see there's a little yes. pleat there. Once you've got the pleat, then you lift your dominant index finger up, Snip it. pinch, and pull. And then we do the same again. So you push in, pick up, yeah. pinch, and pull, yeah? Push in, pick up, pinch and pull. And keep going round until wow. you get sort of halfway. Yeah. When you're halfway, you just change the shape of your yeah. the hand that's not holding the, the okay. dough, yeah, pinching the dough, into what I call a half egg cup. Yeah. Once you got your half egg cup, you continue. So you go push in, pick up, yeah. pinch and pull. Wow. Push in, pick up, pinch and pull. Uh -huh. Keep going round, Fantastic. round, round. Oh, it looks so pretty as well. Uh, we're going to probably go for like, let's let's try and do like eight bows. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, so we won't. We'll make them like sort of mini like bow bites. Yeah. yeah? yeah. You kind of just cup your hand yeah. over the top and then just rip it off. Okay. okay. Um, Should I do that? Yeah, go for it. You go for it. Yeah. Very professional. There we are. <laughs> Good rip. And then we do the pinchy pinchy twisty twisty. Yeah. And then you've got your nice round ball. You've got your nice round ball. <laughs> Mine's a bit more... It's okay. Yeah, just don't be scared of it, yeah. And, and just sort of really pinch it together. Yeah, really pinch it together. Mine's a little bit more rugby ball. Okay, keep going. And then we're going to go for your tummy in the head. Yeah. Okay. And you can go nice and slow. You don't have to sort of overdo it on speed. There we are. Okay, teaspoon of your mix, okay, and we put that teaspoon of mix in the center of your dough. And when you're starting, less is more, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Right, as you will get more confident, you can put more in. Okay, yeah? that's But when you put it in, like really yeah. sort of push, push it in, it and you can see I push Almost it like into yeah. that little cup of my fingertips, Yeah. right? And if it's nice and flat, it's easier to play with, yeah? yeah? Right, okay, you ready? I'm ready. Crane, from the top, pick up pinch. your dough, push in, pinch and pull. Finger out. Pink, pinch. pinch. And when you pinch, actually, actually keep hold pinch. of it. You know, okay. really, really, really pinch that together. Yeah. Same again. Keep going, keep going. And then I've torn mine a little bit. That's fine. To finish it off, just gather, gather, there gather. And then when you finish, you just close that up. That's it. I've got a little hole there. I've got a little hole there. That's well. fine. Hey, I'm pretty chuffed with we that. We got to be greedy, honest. didn't we? First yeah. time I've ever had a go at a bow. Okay. That one I just need to bring in. But I guess don't be scared of the dough is what we're no, trying to exactly. say. No, exactly. You it don't needs have to bring it in. Just squeeze it a bit harder, right? Yeah, and don't worry about that. And you, can, you know, yeah. even at the end, you can just sort of. It, and it may open up a little, but yeah. you can be a little bit rough with it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think that's what I'm finding. You can actually just 
be, it's not very delicate, is it? It's no, it's, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's a very forgiving dough. It doesn't, yeah. you know, it, it's not like a really, really fine yeah. dumpling dough. Where it's going to tear, and if it tears, it's the end of the wall. Exactly. Cool. So you just pop them into your steam Two baskets. Trips? Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do or four in each because they need this, you know, that space, space to expand. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then straight over the top. Yeah. Uh, and then your steam is ready, so straight over that. Yeah. There we are. Uh, and then it literally is eight minutes on the steam. There we are. And, and uh, right. they'll be ready. Yeah. Oh, it smells great. Yeah, it's, it's really simple. Let's open it, see what the magic's oh, like. Wow. Hey, look at that. I think you can tell which ones I made and which one Jeremy made. <laughs> and we won't go there. No. But you kind of see, look, it will taste yeah. good. And you've got a nice fluffy bow. Oh, wow. Because okay. like, if they do open up, it's just around yeah, this yeah, yeah, repeating. Yeah. But uh, I guess it's the moment of truth. The moment of truth. These are going to be Should so I try hard. one of yours? You try one of mine? Yeah, okay. Okay, all right, let's do that. Right. Um, I'm guessing this one yours. Yeah. Why are you guessing that? <laughs> well, that's really hot. Mmm. Oh, wow. That good? So good. Yeah. <laughs> the dough is so light and fluffy. Mm hmm. It's not like starchy or bready, it's actually like no, super fluffy and that filling. Mmm, sweet and. It's just amazing. Yeah, you know, it wasn't too difficult to make, and I think if you piece together those two dishes, yeah. uh, you can make something really quite cool. Yeah. Guys, if you want to learn about this, or you want to get a different sort of feel of yeah. how you can use our bow kits, yeah. um, you know, it's great to have you, Chris. Yeah, thank um, you. And you can put the link to my stuff below, and yeah. we're going to do a video with another recipe on. Exactly. Yeah. So and we'll do another bow recipe yeah. uh, on Chris's uh, YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey. Don't forget, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to his channel. And get bowing. Does that work? Get bowing. Why not? <laughs> get eating. Delicious. Yeah. Cheers, Jeremy. Cheers. Cheers.